Mary? No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? No. So here we've reached the point where we can start actually heading toward the ending we're going for this time. Oh, how unnatural. We have to make the game think we actually like Maria. Uh. So the ways we can do this, for one thing, we need to ugh, spend as much time with her as we can. So we need to walk fairly slowly instead of just running ahead of her. We need to go all over the town instead of just going straight to the destinations we need to go to. Once you reach the hospital, don't immediately dump her off on the third floor, as tempting as it is. And perhaps the most annoying, don't hit her. Yeah, when fighting monsters with Maria around, you have to be careful to not accidentally damage her. <sighs> Baggage. Anyway, the first thing we can do to actually influence this ending is turn around and go back the way we came. Hey, we don't need to go and find Maria, uh, Mary. We've got Maria. She's told us that the hotel is the way we were actually heading, so we want to make her think, yeah, we just want to go back to our car and take you home with us. Come on, catch up. The hotel isn't this way. Is that okay? You can keep walking this way if you want, but of course it won't get you anywhere. So, yeah, from here it's just the long, drawn-out walk across the bridge where all the mannequins are, and having to protect her this time along the way. <sighs> Walking slowly the whole way so that she can keep up. Getting to the hospital with baggage in tow. Aren't you glad I'm not making you sit through all that? So here in the hospital, something interesting has come up. This typewriter has the carbon paper, which tells you one of the number combinations for the locked box. However, on hard difficulty puzzle, it's different. I know what the secret, I'll give them something to deal with. This demon shelter is of no use anymore. He is my instrument, he must follow my orders, yes, the box will be useless. Now I must not forget it. 7453. That's good. He is the lowest now. I too will be free, and he will serve me. I am a genius. No one can stop me. One can stop me. No one can stop me. Can stop. Can stop. No, no. So it's still all out and out completely insane, and it still gives you the number combination, but it no longer directly references that it's the button key combination this time. So it doesn't really change the puzzle per se, just makes things more confusing. So still here in the hospital, we have yet another number combination that's changed, and become a bit more obscure. The pin number this month is T. Last month it was X, and before that it was Z. But what are they going to do next month? That's all they can express with four numbers. Anyway, does the door to the patient wing really need to have its combination changed this often? So yes, that's all the clue we really get to the third floor patient wing. Come, Lady Baggage, let's go! So as we make our way there, I can go ahead and talk about this much. Of course, once you have the third floor patient wing open, you do have the option of dropping off Maria. Unless, of course, you're going for this particular ending, in which you, quite unfortunately, have to spend as much time with her as you can. Therefore, when going for this ending, make absolutely certain that you've been everywhere else in the hospital that you possibly can before you go into the third room of the third floor patient wing, because that's where she'll rest, and that's also where you get the roof key. <sighs> From experience, I know this room is not going to be fun with her in tow. Nurse Ambush!
Last time I tried this, there were three trying to kill me in here. I won't question that. I'll just enjoy it. So yes, anyway, as stated, the code is a bit more obscure now. All we've been told is that the code is T. However, we weren't given any numbers. We were also told that previous codes were X and Z, and that's the, all that could be represented with four numbers. So imagine this keypad as just a series of dots, and you need to draw a letter on that series of dots. So let's draw a T. One, to three, and then two, to eight. And we're in. So that unlocks the patient wing. So even once you come up here, make sure you go in every room before you go in the room where Maria will take a rest. And we'll have sweet baggageless freedom. At long last, it's time to drop the baggage. Though, going for this ending, you do want to go in and visit her from time to time. So, let's go back in. James, I want to ask you something. What if... What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? I haven't thought about that. So you can actually go back in, back out, back in, back out, talk with her, check on her, that kind of thing. I'll be okay soon. Did you find Laura? Checking in on her like that, it's pretty much the only real thing you can do like with the other endings I've gotten so far that you can do multiple times so considering we know Maria's fate at the end of the hospital take advantage of this time James I want to ask you something what if what if you can't find Mary what will you do I haven't thought about that well, you had all that time going back in and out of the door, James. You could have thought about it by now. One rather interesting thing I felt like showing here in Dark South Vale. It doesn't really have anything to do with getting an ending or anything like that. Just an interesting touch. Once you're back in Dark South Vale, you can actually go back to where everything started. Back where you got the plank, the radio, and met your first lying figure. Except you can't quite go all the way there. And a rather interesting barrier. It's all wrapped up now with caution tape. Rather interesting, that. Alright, so I'm back in the labyrinth now, and I've been asked to give the great knife trick another try. So... I've given it the best possible chance for working. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and equip the great knife. Turn off the flashlight. And turn off the radio. Apparently, according to what people have said, the radio was the problem. I do kind of wonder about this, because so often in the instructions for the games, It'll tell you that monsters cannot hear the radio, but we'll give it a try anyway. I also haven't killed any of the lying figures in this room. Uh, he is not impressed, neither is the one down the hall. No, they're still going after me. I'm afraid I'm not getting this trick to work at all. The flashlight is off. The radio is off. I'm walking around in a dark area. It even says that the labyrinth is one of the few areas that this will supposedly work in. So complete darkness, no noise, just carrying the great knife around. 
They are anything but impressed. They are not running from me. They're still chasing me, in fact. Hassan Chop. Uh, way to not aim at the one still alive there, James. I'm at least gonna get some satisfaction out of this. Yeah, so... I've tried this again without the radio on, so... What's the deal now? Because I honestly don't know what else to try here to make this work. Maybe it just really doesn't work on hard mode? I don't know. So here we are back at the face box puzzle with something that I wanted to point out here that I've read lately about this particular puzzle. From what I've read, evidently, on easy and normal riddle difficulty, the solution to this puzzle is always the same. Now I don't know if that means it is the same solution for both difficulties, or if it just means that on easy mode it's always one solution, and on normal mode it's always another solution, but either way, with those two difficulties, it's a constant. On hard riddle mode, however, it's always randomized. So, yeah, no quick way of getting through this one, unfortunately. Right.